Hi, my name is Austin Wilcox. I'm the product manager for Kestrel Ballistics. We're pushing out a new firmware update. It's going to be 1.47 on the Kestrels and 1.03 on the HUDs. We wanted to walk you through what you're going to see. On startup, you'll notice that instead of a battery percentage, there's a battery icon now. If you want to see a more precise value, you can look in the settings menu under battery, and you'll get a better reading from when the Kestrel is running at a steady state. It'll still be fairly temperature dependent, but that should give you a more accurate idea of how much battery life you have left. The second upgrade is the ability to change the order that your gun profiles show up when you toggle through them. Just highlight a gun in gun management and press the capture button, and then press up or down, and then capture again to confirm the new position. If you have an Android phone, you'll be able to move gun profiles around in the KLB app as well by holding and dragging the profiles. If you've got an Elite or 5700X, we've updated the positive direction for zero offset. It won't change the solutions for any existing gun profiles you have, just how zero offset is displayed, with the positive for zero height and zero offset now being up and to the right as you'd expect. And last, for those of you with a 0.5 mil adjustment in your scope, the Kestrel will now support up to 20 clicks per mil. As nice as those upgrades are, we've had a lot of shooters ask for this next improvement and we're really excited to finally get it to you. We've added a new feature to the HUD called Holdover Predial, which is great for no-dial stages or times where you need to engage a lot of targets fast. To use it, look at the hold for your first target, in this case 1.4 mils. Then turn on Holdover Predial and scroll to 1.4. Now, back on your target card, 1.4 is shown at the top to remind you how much to dial, and all the elevation holds already have 1.4 mils subtracted from them, showing the amount you now need to hold over for each target without slowing down to mess with turrets or have to do the math yourself in your head. To get these updates, just connect your Kestrel or HUD to the Kestrel Link Ballistics app and accept the firmware update when prompted. As always, it's a good idea to be extra careful and back up your gun profiles to the app before running the update. We hope you enjoy these new features and look forward to having some fun with you at the range real soon.